Hey, welcome back to Minecraft, where I'm starting off here in the nether because we started a pretty big project in the last video. We started a gold farm. A very, very large scale project. Ah, uh, I forget how big this thing is. But, in the last video we ran out of resources, which is why it looks like this in construction state. And I made a vow that I am going to show all of me building this in time-lapse form so that it doesn't take forever, but I'm showing all of me building it to prove that I'm not cheating. I don't know why I feel the need to do this, but I want to prove that I'm not cheating. Oh, and I prepared a lot of resources. I just grabbed, like, most of the stone in my whole storage system, and I just smelt it into smooth stone. I'm unsure if this is... Yeah. I'm unsure if this is enough, but... It should be. Because this is... Ugh, this is gonna take a lot. For everything that I need, I know for sure this isn't enough, because I need stuff like trapdoors, I need hoppers, I need... Stuff for a storage system, I need turtle eggs, I need a whole host of other things, but for the most part, this is what I need. So, yeah. But, I need it in slab form. Like that. So, I guess I'll, I'll just get started on building all of this, because this is going to take quite a long time. Oh, and I brought a bunch of torches so I can light it up a bit better. I have no real reason to light this up, because it doesn't affect the spawning in any way. But it just makes it look a little better, so I'm doing it. Well, I was going to get a third person camera for this, because it'll look much better. But I can't get into my other account, because after, after the whole Microsoft migrating stuff, it's... Oh, it's such a pain, and it's not technically my account, I just use it because I used to own it. But anyway, this is what I do now. So, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do it from first person because... <laughs> I'm not bothered to go through that whole process of getting it back. And that's it. That's the entire first layer done, and I have used up pretty much all of my smooth stone. I very much underestimated how much I would need. 
Also, you, I'm not sure how well it came across, but I initially had a bit of a pattern for how I placed these torches around. Yeah, you can kind of see it around here, but eventually I just kind of gave up and placed them around sporadically. Ah, it's kind of a pattern, mostly around the middle. Also, I have no idea why these guys like crowding around the crafting table so much, but they do. Uh, just something I can't really explain. But, because of how much smooth stone that took... Hmm, I might need a change of plans. I could always just go get more smooth stone, but... I don't really want to. Hmm. I mean, it does still work with just one layer. It just doesn't look as cool and it isn't as fast. You know what? I can live with this. I have enough slabs. Yeah. So... In the middle here... God, there's so many guys! You know, they can spawn back in. I'm just setting it to peaceful briefly to get rid of them all. There. I don't know why these guys weren't attacking me till now. Don't shoot me. There we go. Got him. Right, now it's clearer. So, pick up the crafting table. In the middle here, I need to go at least three blocks up. Oh god. No. There we go. I've been meaning to get a return to sender for a while. I'm going to have to do some anti-ghast stuff later, but... That's later. So... Mm. I'm just thinking about the logistics of this all. Because I need to be able to get myself up here. Oh yeah. I was going to put the killing chamber down here, but I guess I can put it on the three adjacent blocks. Okay. I'm changing the design a little bit, but it's mostly the same. So, yeah. They're going to be dropping down into shoots here. Oh, this guy's already in one. And I'm not necessarily going to be the one to kill them. Because entity cramming exists, and it can do the same. Hmm. I just need to give them a way to get up into those chutes. And I guess I can do that with slabs. Or it could be full blocks. But I can make the full blocks with the slabs. No, I'll just use full blocks. It's easier. <laughs> right. So then they can pathfind their way up these stairs and fall down into the chutes. Although I'm gonna need some kind of a separation so that they can't get into any of the other chutes. I'm gonna need to put a turtle egg here. So I need a different place to stand. Actually, no. I can stand here. I, I just put the turtle egg one above me. This kind of looks like a garbled mess, but I can understand what I'm doing here. So then the turtle egg will go on top of there, so that they can see it all, and then fall down into the chute. Oh, but then should they not go higher? Yeah, they're going to have to fall further. Okay then, I have the blocks for it. Wait a minute, no, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to change this up a little bit more. Because I need to stand in a place where I can collect the XP. Yeah, so I need to move the shoots back a bit. Right, and now I can put slabs in, not quite like that. I need a slab there to stop baby pigmen 
I'll put a slab there so that the adults can't, well, none, none of them can jump out. Then I need some blockades to stop them from getting to the other chutes. And then I need to make sure that they can't walk on top of this bit here. It is technically one block, but I don't think their pathfinding will let them walk on top of that. And if they're already falling, it'll be significantly harder for them to do that. So, they'll walk up these stairs, and they'll fall into the chute, and they won't be able to do anything. Now I just need to replicate that on the other sides. Wait a minute. They need line of sight to the turtle egg to be able to try to crush it. I should just need to do that. So then I'll be standing here, and the XP will funnel in towards me, and the turtle egg will be right above my head. You know what? I can get rid of that. Because these guys won't be jumping. They'll just fall onto the chute because they don't have the AI to jump onto this to try and get to the turtle egg. Yeah, I was too busy trying to make it player-proof and not just thinking about being zombie pigman-proof. Because these guys are kind of dumb. <coughs> so that should be enough, really. And I can kind of test it. Oh god, this guy's not in a good spot there. Eh? I just need to block myself in like this, and then attack one, and they should all try and funnel in. Oh no, they don't jump up once more. How did you get there? Hmm. Okay, so I've got a bit of a problem. And now I don't know how to get out of this. <coughs> okay. So, some of them can get on top of there, but... Hmm. Huh. Okay. I just need to despawn these guys and they should de-aggro. Never mind, they are still chasing after me. Look at that massive horde. Oh, wow. Maybe if I drop, it'll de-aggro them. Well, I guess while I'm down here, I can go get some of the stuff that I need now. So, I'm going to need... Ah, a bunch of trapdoors. That's an important one. And I forgot about that one. While I'm here, I may as well grab my hoppers. And I don't have any other chests. And I need to try and get myself a turtle egg. But I'm not entirely sure how. Oh, and I'm going to need to borrow some of my shulker boxes for the sake of storage space. Uh, not storage, inventory space. Because I'm going to need to do something that will seem kind of dumb. I need to make phew, about 90 minecarts. Yeah. Oh, that would be three shulker boxes worth. One shulker box worth of minecarts in one spot. Actually, possibly even more than that. I'm not too sure. I don't remember what default entity cramming is. I think it's 39. Ah, oh, no, not 39, 29. But I'm doing it with minecarts, because minecarts can't take entity damage from entity cramming, but they still impart entity cramming damage to other entities. So, if I just cram a lot of minecarts into one space, it should be able to kill the pigmen. The only problem is that this is very expensive. Okay, so now I have three shulker boxes full of minecarts, and I've used not even close to all of the iron that I have. But I almost used a stack of blocks for that. Jeez. I'm also going to need three minecart rails. Just so I can actually place down these minecarts. 
And I think I might have enough now. Right, the turtle egg. I need to go find that, but I have no idea where the nearest beach biome is. Oh yeah, and I'll take some shears with me just to make some things easier. Oh, maybe not those shears. Although they are the only shears I've got. I'll just make myself some. There we go. Off to find some turtles. Well, I found a beach biome, but didn't find any um, turtles here. So I'm going to have to keep going. Wait, this technically counts as an ocean biome? Okay, sometimes it's a river, sometimes it's an ocean. That's kind of funny. Ooh, turtles! I found one. I need to find another one. Oh yeah, and I needed the shears so that I can get uh, seagrass, because that's what I use to breed the turtles, so that they can lay an egg. I guess I can just wander along this beach until I find another turtle, or two together. While I'm exploring this, I may as well take some of the loot from this underwater city, is it? Mm. I don't remember the names of these. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, also mostly crap. Is there a trident guy around here? Yes. There he is. I'm gonna try to get this guy's trident. Oh, I don't think he dropped it. Nah. There are a lot of drowned here. I think I'm gonna get out of here. Wait, is this a beached shipwreck? I don't think I've ever seen something like this before. Well, I found the chest. Buried treasure map. And a bunch of paper. Where is this? Ooh, it's close. I don't think there's gonna be any more treasure in this place. East, I need to go this way. Oh, I found the turtles over here as well. Oh no, I am lagging a lot. I gotta walk away from the turtles to keep them safer. But while I'm here, check out this buried treasure. There it is. Ooh! No, go away. Lots of cool things. Potion of water breathing, I can leave that alone. Alright, now I wish it would be daytime, but... Vegas can't be choosers. Now, breed, you two. Lay me an egg. I can breed two more of them. Lay more eggs. Seems to be having a tough time laying the eggs. But I don't know how long this usually takes. Oh, that one's going crazy. There we go. This one laid an egg. Ooh, multiple. Don't tread on them. Damn. That's plenty of eggs. Three of them. And this one finally managed to lay its eggs. Only one. Oh well. I've got four now. That went better than expected. And now I just need to make my way back home. Oh, are they still laying eggs? There we go. Finally found a place to lay the eggs. Only for me to steal them. Like the monster that I am. Right, now how do I... I don't remember the coordinates for home. But I can try my best. Oh, there's a village. I think I'm going to take the bell here because... I don't know what happened to the one that I had at um, the base, but it's gone. Okay, now this is the worst chest that I've ever seen. Just two sticks. Wow. Is this another village or the same village? I don't know, but I don't particularly feel like ransacking it. There's the base. Finally! I just found a jungle next to an acacia and I knew I was home. 
I'm not sure where to put this bell. I'll just place it down for the sake of it. Right. I think I have what I'll need now. I don't need the F3 menu anymore. I think I'm good to go back to the gold farm, finally. I'm hoping that the pigmen won't be aggro on me anymore. Uh, but there's still ghasts. Right. Oh, and there's magma cubes. What biome is this in? Thought it was still another wastes. Here it is. I don't know what their problem is. I guess magma cubes will spawn then. Okay. Kind of a pain, but they shouldn't be able to fit into the funnel. Ah, uh, right. That's why I needed them to be able to go one block higher. Because one block higher means I can put a trapdoor down, like that, and they'll think they can walk across, but they can't. Cool. Yep, that's going to be happening a lot. Ah, uh, but they can still land on there. You know what, I'm just going to build this in peaceful because the mobs are getting in the way and I can't kill them, realistically. Okay. So now if I put the turtle egg in the middle, the Pikmin should want to come and crush it. So their pathfinding will bring them up here, they'll think they can get across, and they'll fall in the pit. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and hopefully they won't be able to walk onto there. Let me try just holding W. Okay, no, that's very easy. If I do this, they can still see the egg, or at least they should be able to, and they can still walk across and fall into the pit, but they can do that. So then I need to bring these up a bit more. And then I just need to put a ceiling on this, which I can do with my remaining slabs. Like that. Oh, and this looks quite a lot more complicated than I remember it being. But, it should work. Now we'll just clear out the piglins. Because they don't need to be here. <coughs> and... This should be good. I only worry that they might not be able to see the egg. Wait, are baby pigments able to jump? No, they won't be able to jump up there. Yeah, they'll be fine. Right. Oh, I should have brought glass. Then I could put glass here and you can see the, the rest of it, but... Oh well. Eh, I can do a little bit. Utilizing slabs. Nah, that doesn't really look that good. But I've made the slabs now, so... There's no turning back. I really wish I could. I'll probably just replace them some other time. I don't really care. Eh, this is fine, I guess. I'll leave it be. <coughs> so... Now I'll do the item catchment system. Hmm. Ideally, I'll have a room down here that just collects all of the gold in a central area. But... I only have enough for one chest at the moment. Oh, every way I think about doing this, I'll need one more hopper. Or if I had one more chest... Uh, I'll just... Um... Wait, why did a chicken spawn in the nether? Oh! Was that a... Was that a zombie piglin? Zombie pigman on a chicken that spawned, but the pigman immediately was removed because it's peaceful, and it just left a chicken? Huh. Cool. I didn't realize that could happen. I think I'll take the approach of giving myself... Or, not giving myself, getting one more chest. I mean, I could use a hopper as a makeshift chest, but it doesn't really count. So, 
I'll just go get another chest later. But, um... Yeah, I guess I can place the rails like that. Minecarts can't fit under slabs, right? No, they shouldn't be able to. Right. Now the very slow process of putting all of the minecarts down. Okay, so now there's 27 minecarts in that one spot. Whether it's enough to start entity cramming, I don't know. I hope it is, but I have a suspicion that it's not. Okay, now I've got 27 on this one. One more shulker box to go through. And there we go, that's the last minecart place down. Whew. Okay. I might be ready now to go back to hard mode and start spawning pigmen in. I have to block that off. I do have enough stone slabs to make another ring there. But no, I'm not going to bother with that. This is mostly just protection from everything else. Yeah. I am going to switch back to hard mode and see how this goes. Oh, right, if I had a bow, I could shoot them and get this process started. You know, I'm going to go get another chest and we're going to get some kind of a projectile to attack the pigmen with. Okay, I'm back. Oh boy, there's a gas that spawned. Right, I'm going to need to do the gas protection stuff. They shouldn't be able to shoot me with the various things that I've done now. Hmm. But I still need to stop them spawning because it ruins the rest of the farm. So, I've got the chest that I can put down there for the extra storage. And now I've got the bow so that I can try and shoot one of them. Oh, and I got an achievement for it. Okay. Oh, they're all... Hi. How did you get there? I don't know. But they're not... The babies are making their way into these middle bits. They're not falling into the chutes. I'm just getting a load of the babies in this area. They're all just crowding around there. Why? I don't think they can see the egg. Oh god, there's a lot of them. I mean, I could just use this side manually, but I made this whole bit. Oh. Maybe I should get some glass to put there instead of slabs. Right, I'm back with the glass now. Hopefully they're not aggro on me. What's that guy doing there? I don't know. I don't know if that works to let them pathfind towards the egg. I have a suspicion that it doesn't. But I'm gonna do it anyway. As long as they don't try to get at me from here. And they make their way into the chutes. There's a lot of piglins around. And I don't know why they're spawning. Hmm. I bet there's in a crimson waste so that they wouldn't spawn. What would happen if I made, like, slab stairs up? Okay, I guess that works for slab stairs. So, yeah. Alright, and I've got to fill in these pillars too. Not much, but that'll be enough. Okay. I don't really know what I'm trying to do here. Just... Testing ideas to see if I can fix it. And so I'm going to make this wall solid. Okay, solid wall so that they shouldn't pathfind to me. Wait, now I can't shoot them. I just see piglins. Okay, there's some. Come on, funnel into the pits. Nope. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. I'm tempted to just resort to a an ordinary pit where I just drop them into a spot full of poppers and just manually kill them. That's what I've done in the past, but I wanted to try something a little clever this time. Uh, 
Oh well. I think it's just because they're not walking up the stairs to get in the holes. I don't know. And I don't want to have to figure this out off camera, but I've already kind of wasted enough time figuring out the design for this and just experimenting with stuff. And what I've got feels like it should work, but it just doesn't. And I have no idea what to do. And I'm starting to lose hope and interest. And yeah, I've gone through all of this effort to try and get it to work, and it just doesn't. Oh god, don't touch the corners. Oh well. I can just say that this is functional. Because it should. Like, they can see the egg. They can pathfind towards it, and they will fall into the holes and get killed by the minecarts. But whenever I aggro them to get them close, they try to target me, which doesn't work. Maybe if I was standing higher. That's an idea. I don't... Uh... Oh, ow. Hang on. Let's get rid of these guys temporarily. Because I need to get myself some blocks. Let's see what happens if I take the place of the egg. If I sit in here. Back to hard. There's a group of pigmen. Just shoot one of them. Stand here. Okay. That kind of works. I'm just standing in the wrong spot. Yeah. That works. Although they kind of need to push each other in. Wait, where did the rest of them go? They're all just there. Aggro, please. There we go. That's what I wanted. And there are enough minecarts. Oh, and the XP even made its way up. I just need to show my face from time to time to re-aggro them. Or if I can just make myself visible. This seems to work. Yeah. And much better than the, the turtle egg version. I don't know why the turtle egg version didn't work. They're supposed to aggro on eggs. But... It's just easier if they aggro on the player. I'm just gonna have to attack them from time to time to re-engage the aggro. This always happens when I try to make a, a pigman farm. They always lose the aggro somehow. And there's also always a lot of piglins. I can fix the piglin problem by building the whole thing out of magma blocks, but that's gonna be a lot of effort. Right, well, I guess if I found a way to get this to work, I can call it functional. It's just a bit weird about it. Okay. Ooh, and there's many more XP balls left down here. Okay. Cool. So it works. How much stuff did I get out of it? Eh, not much. But I'd have to use it for much longer to get anything substantial, really. Well, I feel safe in calling it here. I feel like it's working. Oh, I've re aggroed them. Oh, they can all see me now. Oh, boy. Well, hopefully if I stand in the middle, they'll all kill themselves. Sounds like it. How did a normal zombie get up here? What? You can't spawn in the nether. I think there's just something wrong with my game. Because there was a chicken spawning, there's zombies, there's a lot of just normal zombies, and I have no idea why. There's still ghasts. Yeah. I'll just bow you. Ah, go away. Yeah. Well. This was almost a disaster, but, oh boy, I got it working eventually. 
Just not in the way that I thought I would. Why are there normal zombies? I have no idea how normal zombies can be spawning. But they are. Yeah, this farm is also very loud. Oh, uh, maybe the platform is too big. Because all the ones spawning on the outskirts can't see me. Hmm. I am going to leave this video here. I have done enough. I built the whole ring. Oh, I've gone very high. I've built the whole ring. I didn't do the other floors, but I don't think I really need them. Oh god. And I've built the quote-unquote killing chamber that doesn't work in every circumstance. I still have no idea why there's normal zombies spawning. Oh, I gotta get away from there, it's too loud. Yeah. So, I can... I can call this gold farm project pretty much complete. It's functional at the moment. It's just not as good as it can be. So, yeah. I'm gonna leave it there. I guess that's enough for this video then. So, bye.